Baby. Baby. <laughs> All right. Taking a look right now at the MySpace. It's right after. It's about 10:09 right now. It's right after the Andrew DiLorenzo show here on WSIA, and I'm taking a look right now at the Correo Q's MySpace. That's right. You can look them up at myspacecom backslash the Correo Q. In fact, right now, I'm yours truly, Andrew DiLorenzo, hosting this special behind-the-scenes look at both the Andrew DiLorenzo show. And an exclusive interview with the Correo Q, Staten Island's greatest rock band ever since The Who. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the Correo Q. How's it going? Hey. hey. All right, we got Sam right here on bass, Steve on the guitar, Simon on Drum. drums, and we got Joey Lawrence with the Pepsi bottle. He plays the Pepsi bottle. He plays the Pepsi bottle and also doubles as a singer for the Correo Q. All right, so first of all, guys, thank you for joining me on my show tonight. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Uh, burp. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do at college, burp. All right, so let's start it off with Sam, because Sam's the one who's, you know, uh, the closest. Sam, let's start it off. Yeah. Typical day in Correo Q. It's right before a show. What do you do to get yourself in the mood? Well, uh, we buy ice cream. All right, that's we three dollars, correct? What? It's three dollars. Three dollars. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. You never know. We run around a little bit. All right. Beat each other up. All right. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Is that true, guys? Do you really get beat up by Sam? Good for the heart. Usually we do the beating on Sam. Really? Both. It's Works usually. Both Can I see your demonstration, please? <laughs> Sometimes it turns into a tickle fight. Who the hell influenced you to wear your shirt tonight? To wear my shirt? Probably uh, Steve Burns from Blues Clues. Not, nah. not the new guy. Joe. Not Joe. Joe. Did you know? Okay, keep going. I don't know. Did you know that Paprika was a boy on Blues Clues? It was? Yeah, that's sick. I know. I thought it was a girl. Nah, Blues a girl. Boop, boop. So, Steve, in all seriousness right now... Wait, Steve or... Sorry. Oh, Simon. Simon. Are you calling me Steve Burns? Or? <laughs> yeah, Steve Burns. That's Steve DeLillo, Steve okay, Burns. Steve Burns. Now, nah, seriously, Simon. Yes. You know, you're one of... You're the oldest of the band, correct? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, now that you're 17, what does that mean? You're going to become the official when roadie I as well? 17. No, nah, that's not the sound of it music. It was a very... <laughs> I mean, like, are you going to um, become the roadie, get a car, a van for the career queue? Oh, he um, once I learn how to drive, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little lazy. Once I figure that out, once I figure that out, to drive not really car. good, uh, not a good stick shift or uh, clutch. Stick shift stinks, go with automatic. Problem. All right, now let me ask you a question, in all seriousness. All right, your best show ever as a drum, as a drummer. As a drummer? Your best show that you played as a drummer. It was at a benefit concert at a church, Oasis Christian Center. Mm -hmm. And I only dropped my stick once that night, but no one noticed. And uh, good show. I often do that. And uh, it was a good show, and I liked the drum solo I played. All right. He only gets one, so when it makes it good, it's a good night. Nice, nice. All right. So, one more question for the great Simon. Who has to be your number one super fan? <laughs> My number one super fan? I'm really not sure. All right, well, I mean, I know you're going to break a lot of girls' hearts, but who's your number one fan? Who's your lover? Well, my, <laughs> my number one fan would probably be my mother. All right. But that doesn't apply to the other question. Good. Yeah. <laughs> A man who loves his mother. All right, when we come back here on the interview, we'll have exclusive one-on-one -on -one sessions with this guy right here. He's a bachelor, ladies, and he's looking for some good loving. Little Steve. Miami Steve. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. And we're back. <laughs> All right. Steve DeLillo. Steve Ebola. Miami Steve. 
Little Steven Dillon. Andrew Dillenzo. Wrong, it's De Lorenzo, but I'll... Lorenzo. De Lorenzo. Steve you know S. Frank Ciano. I do. Frank Ciano's one of your fans. I don't know if he's one of my fans, but I know. He said he loves you. Oh, well, if he loves me, then... Love he's like, how you doing? How you doing? I love, the, I love Troop 24. Is it 24 or 22? 37. Damn! <laughs> oh. St. Teresa's. Close, close. But that was right church. Thank you, thank you. I was there a few times, oh, visiting, right. doing some plays there. All right, typical day for Steve Delillo. What do we do when we get up? What, what I when I get up? Yeah. Oh. Which will be at like three p.m. in the afternoon. Right. Uh, <laughs> in your pajamas. I'll, yeah. Right. Um, I'll either play my piano okay. or my guitar. All right. Do we Sometimes play both of them. Do we play Guitar time. Hero? Guitar Hero? No, I'm terrible at it. What about uh, rock, rock star? Rock band. Rock band. <laughs> oh no no no! I've actually played it. Not for me. I've. I've succeeded, mm. and I've never played that game. Before. I don't think any true musician can play. But if you play it games. on expert, it's like playing the drums. No. <laughs> Something to know. Nice. What else? Do we take a shower, or we just go? Uh, no. Uh, usually I'll not take a shower. Not take a shower. <laughs> I'll go the day. I'll. I'll... <laughs> Purell. Right. I, I have a lot of Purell in my house. Uh, well. Yeah, I usually play music the whole day, but if not, I'll play my video games or my computer games. Sometimes I'll talk to my buddies like Sam, Joe, or Simon. Get a lot of instant messages from Steve. A lot of instant messaging happening. A lot, a lot of instant messaging. Wow. That's what keeps us together. Yeah. What will keep us together? We're, we're a pretty tight-knit group. Why? We're tightly knit. Yeah. Like a sweater. Uh, Much like, like a, a sweater. I would say a quilt. That Simon's like mom shirt. makes That's for you guys. Kind of and they also made shirts, too, like this one. We did make a shirt, like that one. <sighs> yeah, it's. I'm really going to throw it out when I get home, but it's all right. Now, um, let me ask you a question. Yes. Um, this is really Love Connection. If this was Love Connection, this, what would be your qualities? If this was Love Connection, what would be my qualities? Uh, I'd say I clean up good. Uh, uh, I shaved this morning. Uh, I'd say I clean up good. Um, uh, I'm a good listener. I'm a good. I'm a good. Uh, what am I? Father? <laughs> Not a good father. What would you guys say I am? I would say you're just beautiful. No. Um. Okay. So you don't take a shower and you're a good listener. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Next. <laughs> Last but not least. The man, the myth, the legend, Joe Mendoza. So. Joe Mendoza. Yeah. You go to LaGuardia High School. Is that a big impact on your music career, or do you, I mean, like, do you want to study music as a career, or pretty much? No. No. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> most definitely. What band would you most likely want to be in? A current band right now? Any band? What would you most likely want to be the lead singer of? Spice Girls have a lead singer? Yeah, they do, actually. <laughs> Is there a lead one? Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All of them in unison. We actually covered that song. We yeah. covered the Spice Girls. Covered Spice Girls. Nice. Spice Girls. Which one? Wannabe. Wannabe. Wow. Yeah. Um, never again. Never again. Yeah, never again. But uh, if you had to like pick a band, who would it be? Cake. Cake? Yes. The Distance. Yes. You do know they covered I Will Survive. That's a good uh, version of I Will Survive, too. Better than Gloria Gaynor. Oh, yeah. You know, Hot Stuff. Did you cover Hot Stuff, too? Do you guys even know what Hot Stuff... I forgot. You guys were born in the 90s. Our you're, bad. You're talking to an elderly yeah. person right now. No, seriously. These guys are awesome. You know, if you're watching this right now, you better go to myspace.com backslash the Correo Q. Catch my show Saturdays from 7 to 10 right here on WSIA Staten Island, 88.9 FM. Listen live at www.wsia.fm. I'm Ange DiLorenzo telling you thanks for watching and have a good night and a pleasant tomorrow. And just remember, God loves you. <laughs>